Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Zack Snyder's Justice League. And we're going to be breaking down the new trailer to do with Darkseid and the Nightmare Flash. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCEU videos in the future. So, the Snyder Cut is coming very, very soon, literally like a week from now. So get excited, because there's going to be a whole bunch of Justice League stuff coming out. Also yesterday, apparently the Snyder Cut got leaked, so there have been a bunch of rumors going around, a bunch of leaks, so I'm not sure how that happened, however, we're not going to be talking about the leaks, we're going to be talking about like the official trailer, so we're not going to be covering any of that. However, let's go ahead and get into this. So this is really interesting, now, I'm super intrigued with this trailer specifically, like, recently in the past few weeks they've been releasing trailers for specific characters, so like we got a Superman one, where you got glimpses of Superman in his black suit and scenes of him returning and being like, I need to find the Justice League to help them out because there was a reason that I was brought back. And then there was like an Aquaman trailer where you got to see like different versions of some of the shots we've seen in the past. They released a Batman trailer and then literally just like yesterday, I think they released a Wonder Woman trailer where you got to see Diana like outside of the temples in Themyscira looks like. And so, the next one to come was The Flash. Now, this was really exciting because The Flash trailer showed us some insight into some of the scenes that we've seen clips of before, but we never got like a fully good look at them. So, you know, the CGI has been polished up in the now infamous scene with Iris West, and obviously we don't know if Iris is going to return in The Flash film or not. That remains up in the air. However, Kirsty Clemens' version of Iris is here. Barry saves her. And then he runs away. So we've seen that and we saw like the pre mock ups of that, like with the actors running around and then being saved, but the CGI wasn't finished. However, it looks like in this trailer the CGI is done and Barry has his lightning going all around him, and then there's like a bunch of shots with him running around and basically becoming the Flash. Okay, but now the most interesting trailer was this Dark Side one, and this is the main focus of today's video. Now you get to hear. Ray Porter's dark side and his voice sounds amazing. Now it's kind of like a cross between Optimus Prime and Transformers and maybe like Steppenwolf's voice. So it's really really good evil voice. Like it's kind of what you imagine dark side would sound like if you read the comics. You kind of imagine he would sound something like this. So I think it's a really good voice and that definitely got me really hyped up and I mean that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video. However, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's break this trailer down. So the first shot of the trailer, you see Desaad and you see Granny Goodness standing beside Darkseid. He's here and it cuts in closer and he's leaning forward with his hand on his chin. He's definitely thinking about something, probably in preparation for whatever next kind of battle they go into. But yeah, it's very interesting that Granny Goodness is going to be here because obviously we didn't see her and we didn't see Darkseid in the original cut. So now there's going to be like so much more and like a completely different storyline, which is really exciting and I have no idea why they cut out of the original film. So I'm actually very happy we're getting to see Darkseid because it looks like they did a lot of stuff, but they literally just cut so much and I don't know why they did that. So I think Darkseid is definitely the thing I'm most looking forward to in this new cut of Justice League. Okay, so we go over to the nightmare scenes. Now, this is kind of a big focus of this Dark Side trailer because it's obviously about warning Batman about the incoming threats and what's going to happen because Batman has given some insight into the future via Barry, who if you remember in Batman vs Superman, he wears a different suit, he's from the future, and we have been calling him the nightmare version of the Flash, and so he travels back in time and he gives Bruce a warning. Recently on the reshoots, we found out that they were doing some nightmare scenes and we knew that Ben Affleck was back. We knew they were going to include Joker in the scene, so Jared Leto returned. And so here you see Batman, and this is an alternate version of what you saw in that recent trailer that they released that they really hyped up. And so you see Batman here in his nightmare gear like you saw in Batman vs Superman where he saw the Omega symbol on the ground and he was taken by the Parademons. So it obviously was like a huge warning. And so he's here. And along with this, in the same setting, because you can see the sky is orange, it is that nightmare kind of vibe, that atmosphere, and you see Barry here, and this is super exciting, because this is his nightmare flash suit, right? This is the one we saw in Batman vs Superman, and I'm not the biggest fan of Barry's normal suit, like Ezra Miller's Barry, I mean, in the films. 
because I don't think it looks that good. However, this nightmare suit does look very good and it's very intriguing to see it in full because you get a full look at the whole suit. Like he has a helmet and I think he takes his helmet off and it kind of collapses up if you can see because it comes undone and then he's got like all these armor pieces kind of strapped up like he's in sort of this final battle and he needs all these different pieces. Now, this suit is amazing. But why is Nightmare Flash showing up again, this future version of Barry? This isn't present Barry. This is Barry either in Bruce's Nightmare, could be just warning. However, this could be reality and this is the Nightmare reality in real life. And you get to see Bruce actually meeting this future version of the Flash where he's like, I've just come back, I gotta warn you. You gotta defeat them here and now. If you don't defeat Darkseid, the Earth is done for. And it seems like something like that could happen. However, what goes against that is because in this trailer and throughout the past few trailers you've seen, Joker has been in this nightmare scene. And I don't know if I'm banking on it being a different nightmare rather than them being all the same thing. That would mean that maybe Barry could be in reality with him wearing the nightmare suit and being from the future. However, if it is in the Joker scene, it's going to be in Bruce's head. So now you see this shot here of the Joker, he's holding up the card. You can see his kind of new looks in the background. He is out of focus. However, he does have the green hair and the makeup. You can see that. And also joining him in this scene, supposedly, is Deathstroke. Now, we've seen him in some behind the scenes stuff. They were going to use him in Ben Affleck's Batman film. I think they shot some test stuff already. And then they brought Joe back and he actually filmed some reshoots and I believe they shot this specific scene. And so it would be an interesting crossover to see if this is what's going on here. And obviously the end credit scene of the original Justice League film had Deathstroke teaming up with Lex forming their own Legion of Doom. But it does seem like Deathstroke is just showing up in the nightmare. Maybe Batman is going to be seeing like all of his worries, all of the kind of teasers that has happened in the past, all kind of meshed into one, where he sees like all these different villains that he'd fought before, all in one nightmare. So yeah, that's interesting. And in the dark side stuff, going back to that, in the dialogue, he says, I have turned 100,000 worlds to dust and all of existence shall be mine. This is obviously very fitting dialogue, as you can see on the screen right here, he's fighting in that big war scene that obviously has been hyped up so much like they were going to do an extended version of that war scene actually including Darkseid because in the original theatrical cut of Justice League they had that fight scene but they didn't include Darkseid it was just Steppenwolf and his armies and it was basically cut short so they're going to extend that and you're going to see the power of Darkseid and how he killed these 100,000 worlds and why he is the greatest threat. And so, talking of Darkseid, you see the shot here. That actually looks remarkably similar to the Man of Steel shot. I don't know if you guys remember that, but one of the shots from Man of Steel looks very similar to this. So I'm wondering, did they use it again and reuse it and CGI Darkseid's hand in? So, I don't know. And then, obviously, changed it to a black suit Superman. However, this is really cool. You get to see Superman being literally grabbed by Darkseid's huge hands. So he's totally just going to fling him out right here. And so you've also got this shot of Superman and like I said, they released a bunch of Superman stuff recently. So you've probably seen like alternate versions of a couple of heat vision scenes that are going to be included in the film. And then you've got him and it cuts over to Steppenwolf and Superman is shooting his heat vision at his head and Steppenwolf's in pain. And it seems like he's going to put up a really, really good fight against Darkseid and Steppenwolf. And so the final shot of the trailer is amazing. Now, this is super exciting because this looks like an alternate version of Darkseid. And I don't mean like it's a completely new and different version of Darkseid. He just looks like he's juiced up on his Omega effect. So I'm sure most of you guys know his Omega beams and what they do in the comics. Basically, they are like Superman's heat vision times 100 because they can track any moving being any living being and literally just wipe them out in an instant and it looks like he's been juiced up on his powers and in the scene he says that dialogue that i mentioned before saying that all of existence will be his now this is super scary like this looks 
like Darkseid and with the dialogue and everything it looks super menacing and it really does feel like the Darkseid we know from the comics. Now I'm super excited about all of this but I want to know from you guys. Are you excited about seeing all of these new scenes, seeing Darkseid actually being the main villain of the film because he is one of DC's greatest villains so see him on screen is going to be awesome. Also, are you excited to see the Nightmare version of The Flash? Do you think he's going to come back and actually time travel in reality? Or do you think what we're seeing in some of these trailers with the Nightmare Flash, do you think he is inside Bruce's nightmare that we've seen with Joker and Deathstroke and everything that's going on in that scene? So, it's all up in the air right now, however, the Snyder Cut is coming in less than a week, so we're going to be doing my review, my breakdown, probably like a full easter egg video, going down every single thing in the film, because there's going to be so much, and obviously we love DC here, so yeah, if you don't want to miss any of that, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe so you don't miss any videos, and turn on notifications so you are notified when I upload. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.